The Nigerian Medical Association for Lagos State, they don't yarn their members to make them start to sit down for house industrial action on top claim for harassment plus uh, intimidate from security agents for the state. The NMA then give the state for house directive for statements where they signed by their chamo, Dr. Sally Oseni and Seke Dr. Ramon Moronkola on Wednesday. According to the statement, the directive could take effect from 6 p.m. And the doctors and the accused police officers for Lagos say they act contrary to the directives of the federal government for lockdown order. Plus, say their members say they know they're safe. To join us live, and a doctor, a daring Shola Elimingbe, a will be medical practitioner. A doctor Shola, they greet you this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you, say you join us on top news this morning. So you feel, say, waiting these doctors decide now the best way to take handle this issue, and since now them be the warriors for this Obonge fight against COVID-19. Yes. Um... Good morning, everybody. That's the only way where we doctors fit express our 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 grievances. We they vex well well because our job entails say make we sacrifice all we have. is is a very risky job. We have we don't they take enough risk already. Make police not come at their own join the Wahala with day on ground. Then if you call us any time of the day, say maybe we'll come out, say we get emergency to take care of. Make policemen come they harass you, join the Wahala with the ground. My people may not look at it, no good. You no know, good. And NMA, Nigerian Medical Association, our chairman, don't write letter, they take. A few months ago, when police started this harassment, government don't look into the matter. Then talk, but then no talk and reach a point of conclusion where everybody don't know where it's supposed to stand. Okay. Still yet, then they harass us when we they go for road for late night for odd hours when we they go do our duty. Okay. So this is the only way where we feel say we go get the attention of the masses okay. and the government and even the police commissioner himself. Make we sit down, sort Absolutely. out this matter once and for all. Okay, so how you think, say, private hospitals take they manage their patients? Because we they hear, say, some patients, they say, doctors self, they fear some patients. So how you could take talk up on top of this matter? Okay, the thing is, say, hmm. for every doctor hmm. where I know, or any average doctor for Nigeria, they no fit fear patients. Hmm. They then figure reason why they no just one rush attend to patients. Maybe they no get their proper protective equipment at hand. Okay. But any doctor where they well equipped, mm. it's the first thing when they train us. Our training and say you must help your patients are priority. Okay. Right now, everything where we they practice now patient centered care. No doctor feel run away from any patient. You know say this is our work now calling person mm. they get the passion. Not true. Ex the, most, the doctor will say he no not want to touch a patient. Either he wants to refer the patient mm. or he has a good reason. Mm. Okay. There is no way any doctor will run away from any patient. They make them go, he then dig down the matter, then go see, say something they inside. Okay. And so, but that's everything they go on now. Um, um, other patients that waiting inside the hospital, like people then where not be saying a coronavirus related matter, how do they take the differentiate them? from uh, the people who get coronavirus, so, so that you understand uh, more cases mm -hmm. no go rise as a result of that kind of uh, matter. Of course, definitely. You mentioned saying a private hospital. Mm. So if patients come hospital, we they do what they call history, we go ask them questions. Okay. If the sickness, the, the symptoms where they present today, they will bring them to hospital. If you resemble the one where they say now coronavirus, we don't take the history. We see, say, fever day. We see, say, the person they cough. We see all those signs where resemble coronavirus. From the point of consultation, mm. we get what we call isolation center. Then go isolate them, go one side. Okay, sharp, From sharp. that point where the doctor don't suspect. You know, go let them mingle. And already for every hospital, before you even enter, Mm. Then they check your temperature. Patient will get fever. Mm. We get where we they see them. We they do social distancing. So they're not going to come in contact okay. with other patients at all. We go contact NCDC. From that point, then we don't isolate them. Oh. So everybody is safe. People will need to come. Maybe they come hospital. No problem. Okay. 
we don't prepare already. Uh -huh. No, Wahala. And so you get any idea if federal or state government they support private hospitals and since they use some of them as treatment center? You get any idea? Well, I know if it get full idea for now, mm. but I believe say if government tells some private hospitals say make them do this COVID nineteen job, then support support them. Mm -hmm. But I know get any idea whether they really they support any private hospital because I know won't talk more than waiting I know. I know. Oh, Dr. Shala, you too much. Thank you for your time and all this information where you give us about this matter. We hear and well, well, and it's in, in, in make you. brain and well, well. I make you get better day. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you for your time.